There you go. That's all right. Just jack it. <laughs> it's so tight. Hey, I'm Kimberly Kane, and I'm in Los Angeles. And I'm here to meet a woman named Auntie Angel who has this blowjob technique where she uses food, like grapefruits. You're gonna twist up and down on his shaft and suck the head at the same time. I just want everyone to know that food is your friend. Make it part of every day in your life, um, especially sex. Everyone thinks that I would know everything there is to know about sex because I've been doing it for so long on film, but I don't, so I'm gonna fucking learn today. Very nice to meet oh, you. you as well. Just give me a little hug. I really wanted to meet you because Aww. I saw your video online. Everybody's seen it. It's awesome. Your blowjob technique is amazing too. <laughs> yes. And yeah. those sounds, I know. Those sounds. I always want to be unforgettable. That, he will never, no. ever forget that sound. And with a grapefruit. Yeah. Girl, no. There's no better feeling than a man will ever get than being grapefruited. Really? Nothing else would ever replicate it because the inside of it, the way you cut it, actually mimics the line of her vagina. Wow. Exactly. That's amazing. Everyone is stuck on the grapefruit, which I love, but I want them to be a little bit more creative as well. You know, think of all the things that you can go at the grocery store and get. Food and sex is an amazing combination because we all love food, we all love sex. So I see we have like celery. I would like hit him with it. <laughs> like with a limp celery, <laughs> like abuse him. But you can also give him what I call hair. Hair. You just take it and you can actually just kind of go this over his whole body, his penis, testicles, legs. Oh Really my gosh. sensual, yeah. right? So, you know, just kind of think outside the box. That, Ginger. That smells good. It does, but not so much for, to put on his body, something for him to ingest. Ginger, pineapple, cinnamon, those things, if you eat it or he eats it, actually change the taste of his semen and your vaginal secretion. Really? Yes. Does it well, happen uh, fast or you should put him on a diet? 30 minutes to an hour. Really? 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah. So, you know, you go home, you make up a nice little um, smoothie, you put all the ingredients in it and give it to him. Say, here, baby, just something for you to, you know. You can have. just be like, I'm going to swallow your cum later and you need to drink this. <laughs> well, you know, don't tell And him. he'll be like, okay. <laughs> but you know what? But again, he may overdose. He'll just that. like be bathing in it. <laughs> yeah. I love honey. I have a sexy technique that you can use with honey. When did you start learning all this stuff? Like, were you just like, I'm bored and hungry? I was watching porn uh -huh. and trying to learn some new tricks. And I saw this young lady like with a handful of fruits. Okay. And she was given like this massive fellatio job, right? So I said, I want to do the same thing, but how can I emulate that without getting so messy? So that's kind of how I came up with the grapefruit technique. Oh. Then I started realizing that you can just use so many different foods into the bedroom. And I realized that I really could make a business out of it because it was so many women that really wanted to learn. Oh. Whip. Cream. The classic. Yes, but I have a technique that's a little bit different than the classic whipped cream techniques. Oh, how do you, I mean, I've been doing this for so long and I don't know, I am horrible in There's bed. There's not really a right or wrong. Okay. I promise you, you're gonna learn so much more. I'm going to blow your mind. Woo. Ready to check out. What are you guys up to today? Oh, oh. what do you like to <laughs> I'm Hudsey Hahn, and I'm the headmistress here at Stockroom University. And Stockroom University is a place here at the Stockroom headquarters in Silver Lake, California, where we like to bring adult education to people from all over the city. People come to our classes because they want to learn something new to enhance their personal life, their sex life, and they come here to see that it's okay to learn more about it and to feel a little more part of a community that supports that. This is a hands-on class. This is not spectators. Are you super, super excited? And are you super, are you sure you're gonna do this at home? I kind of feel like I need to learn because I've been in the sex industry for 10 years. People have been paid 
to tell me that I'm doing a good job. Okay. Okay. I don't really know if I am. I've e I've even won a, a blowjob award. Oh great. Oh. But it, it was it's more the look of it. Right. So this is actually like really important to me because now. I'll have legitimate skills behind my blowjobs. I'm pretty sure you are great. And if you weren't, you're gonna be when you leave here. All right. So I think we have everything set up. It looks amazing. It's like a dick garden. It's beautiful. Yeah. Let's welcome these people in. Let's learn some BJs. Please help me welcome the amazing Auntie Angel. <laughs> I'm Angel of Angel's Erotic Solutions. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys some few new techniques with food. Number one, you make sure that you are protecting your mate. We wanna just make sure that he doesn't get, you know, chafed with your teeth or anything getting to his urethra. So it's always about safety. The first technique I'm gonna show you, no one has ever seen this technique. You guys are actually gonna be the first ones to experience the honey nut swirl. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the base of his penis as so, with the honey nice and slow. You're gonna kinda start at the head, and then you just wanna swirl it around his penis. Yeah. Then you wanna make sure it slides down the balls. So you're gonna lick up. Your tongue is gonna swirl all the way around. When you get to the head, you're not gonna suck it. You're gonna tease it a little bit, okay? So this is a little tease with a visual, with a sweet flavor of honey. So this is it. to another technique. And this one is called the eruption. Just take the whipped cream and put it in your mouth. Then what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna go on to the shaft of his penis, and it's pretty much like an explosion going on. Let the, the whipped cream come out your mouth in a spiral technique. And I'm gonna show you exactly how that is. It's actually gonna look like a tornado going over the head of his penis. Yeah, <laughs> so not only do you get the whipped cream, you also get that visual of all that saliva going in. You're with your man and you just don't want to give him head. But he wants head. <laughs> and sometimes you jack him off and that's okay and he does it as well. But why not do the same thing with something else, a cucumber? So, you know the interior of a cucumber is kind of slippery, right? So what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna cut the sides of the cucumber off and just kind of scoop it out. Actually kind of take your knife and make a slit down the side. Because when you make the slit, you're able to overlap it if it's too, if it's smaller, or if it's girthier, it kind of open up and work with it. Then what you want to do is you want to put it in the microwave for about a minute, because you want to get it nice and warm. And you should be able to slide it on then, and you're just going to jack him off. Wow. <laughs> yes. Super sexy, it feels amazing, and you are not using your mouth at all. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, so now, for those who have never seen my signature technique with the grapefruit. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> yeah. Roll the grapefruit, because of course you want to get it nice and juicy. You're going to cut one side of that navel off, then you're going to turn it over to the other side and do the same exact thing. Now, take your knife, go midway down, and make a nice hole in the middle of the grapefruit, approximately the size of his penis. When you grapefruit your man, he has to be blindfolded. Reason why is because you bring a grapefruit to the bedroom, what is your man gonna say? What are you gonna do with that? Yeah. Is it gonna burn? Yeah. Exactly, we don't wanna do all that conversation, sir. I just need you to lay here. So, you're gonna take the grapefruit, you're gonna put it over his penis, you're gonna twist up and down, and suck the head at the same time. <laughs> So 
he's all into it while you suck it, and he's like, oh my gosh, she's so sexy. He looks so sexy when you suck my dick. Then you're gonna say, baby, take the blindfold off. When he's looking at you, he would never say stop, but he's gonna be like, I could have been fucking a grapefruit all these years. <laughs> Remember, grapefruit is also a fat burner. She has to be losing weight while you're sucking this dick. <laughs> so at this time, we're actually gonna take it to the round table. It is time for you to suck that dick. <laughs> Size doesn't matter. Just choose a spot and choose a man. So we're gonna do the grapefruit. So make sure you control your hole. Now, this is a little thing that I wanna teach you really quick. It's a safety move. Uh, when you gag, take your hand as a marker of how much you can actually gag. So I want you to take it in your mouth and gag. Take your hand there and then take it out. That's a safety move because sometimes we gag too much and you feel like you're gonna throw up. So that way, then you slide his, your hand up a little higher. That's pathetic. And it's like, that's okay. Just slide your hand up. <laughs> then you slide your hand up a little higher. And it always is because you control the dick, you never let the dick control you. Okay? Okay, yes. so you're gonna twist up and down and suck the head at the same time. Mmm, it's delicious. I might get into the, the taste of it a little bit more. That's what, exactly, exactly. This is where my rhythm is horrible. That's okay. Just take, there you go, there you go. Okay. Put it in your mouth. Okay. There you go. 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 Suck up some of that juice and then spit it out. Your freak number is 10. Yeah. Now I'm finna go get some whipped cream. Oh my God. So all you're gonna do is take it and put it all the way in your mouth okay. and fill it all the way to it actually starts to come out your mouth. Okay. Okay? So just like that. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. There you go. There you go. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's out. Wow, it looks like a carnation is coming out of your mouth. Now suck it all up. And try to spit it out with your tongue. So we're gonna do one more messy. I left the messiest to the last. Oh my okay. god. Yeah, so it is the honey. Oh yeah. Okay. It's not just blocking it on there. Right. You want the sensuality to be swirling around so he's right. looking like, oh my god. It's just you want him to follow it. Okay. There you go. So, so take it to the top. <laughs> and then hold the base because you gotta swirl, swirl it. Get the nut, get the nut. And then let it come down. There you go. Yeah, man. There you go. There you go. When you look up, you're gonna go in that same swirl that you did it going down. Up, down, move your head. Up. Wow. Go up. Oh, not I got go my right hair right in it. Oh, oh my God. Good head will get your hair redone, so don't worry about it. He will get your hair redone. <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, that is the Honey Nut Swirl. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Yes. Yes. And remember, when you are having sex, food is a wonderful thing. Just be safe and have a great time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, fine. That was a lot of fun. I've done a lot of things in this industry and I learned a lot here today that I've never done. It turned me on. I love food and I love sex. So now I have something to incorporate that I'll be unforgettable. I have never personally bought a grapefruit, but I think I might have to buy that big one from Two Bits uh, tonight. <laughs>